the world record is five minutes 28.69 the British record for interest five 29.58 Two American athletes have been asked to uh, keep the pace healthy early on here. But it's the Canadian Sarah Howell who goes out in front, followed immediately by Sonia O'Sullivan. Had a great year, the uh, Irish girl, in 1993. Took the world 1500 meters silver medal, although she was uh, expected to take gold, but certainly was the best in Europe at that distance and the 3000 meters. So 2,000 metres should be just about right for her. Murray following her immediately. She's in third place with Regina Jacobs, the American 1,500 metres champion, the 30-year-old running in fourth. What kind of pace do you think they'll need here, Steve, to uh, get close to that record? Well, uh, behind every commentator, there is a, a man who actually knows what he, he's saying, and uh, our man has told me that they need 65.5 second laps to keep them into uh, the right shape for that world record. That's not too fast for these sort of girls, so uh, look at that, that's very fast really, but there's an all, the first lap always is fast. Excitement and adrenaline usually pumps you through that first lap, and then you settle down to the rhythm that you need after that. But that's still a good uh, first lap out the way, and Sarah Howe of Canada is doing a very good job. But you can see now that the field's just fragmenting. So I hope that Sarah Howe can keep the rhythm going, because uh, if she doesn't, and you know, her job is only to take them through to about 800 metres or so, then uh, you're going to find that Sonia O'Sullivan is going to be left out in front and doing most of the work herself because the rest of the so-called pacemakers, uh, Regina Jacobs there, number eight, are a long way adrift of the rest of the, of the, rest of the uh, front group. Yes, and Jasmine Jones, the American who we were told would help with the pace as well. They just can't keep with this early pace, that uh, opening lap within the time needed if they're to get close to Puika's 528.69. And she'll step aside now, the early pacemaker, the Canadian Sarah Howell, and leave it to the favourite, Sonia O'Sullivan. 24, and uh, really burnt up the tracks of Europe last year on the Grand Prix circuit. She was the athlete to beat. 2, 10.75, obviously a little slower that second uh, 400, but still on course, Steve. Spot on, I would say. And uh, Sonia O'Sullivan is such a determined and talented uh, woman that I think she knows exactly what she's got to do. I, I, I don't really envy her really because out there she's doing all the hard work and just tucked in nicely just following all the time is going to be Yvonne and uh, Yvonne has got the perfect pacemaker <laughs> if you can say that about Sonia because uh, Sonia's obviously going to have to try and work hard all the way through this and uh, there's the thousand meter time 2.44 still in very good pace so these two really are way way away in front of the rest of the field not going to get any help from any more pacemakers but the pace is really, really fast. Jonathan Edwards, we're into the uh, fifth round of the competition, but a no jump there, in fact. He leads that event at the moment. Two laps to go now in this women's 2,000 metres, an attempt on the eight-year-old world record of five minutes, 28.69. The leader is Sonia O'Sullivan of Ireland, the Scot. Yvonne Murray behind her. This is a good track always for Yvonne. She, uh, in the last couple of years, in this equivalent meeting, has ran really well. Superb 3,000 metre wins, I remember, in both 1991 and 1992 against Liz McColgan. It's not far from her home. She uh, lives at Musselburgh, just down the road, along the coast from Edinburgh. So she regards this very much as her home venue. And she'll want to run well here, Yvonne Murray. She wants to run the 3,000 metres and, if possible, the 10,000 metres in the Commonwealth Games and the uh, lower distance for Britain in the European Championships, in which, uh, of course, Sonia O'Sullivan could be one of her rivals. It's Yvonne's first race since she finished second in the 3As over 1,500 metres. A really good race for her, that. Well, that's uh, the last lap was 67 seconds. They're dropping slightly off the pace here of a world record attempt. But Sonia's still working very, very hard as they hit this bow. And now that pace has picked up again with that lap of 65. So they're getting back towards the world record. And Sonia's also got the problems now of getting rid of Yvonne over this last lap. A 65.2 last lap required here to get inside Puika's eight-year-old record. And with Yvonne Murray in her footsteps, O'Sullivan is going to be pushed all the way. Mind you, it's not just the record that she's after here. She's got to win the race first. 
and with Yvonne Murray looking very, very good behind her, that is by no means certain with 200 to go. Quite a race on here. O'Sullivan leads. Murray second and looking good and looking perhaps about to pounce here. O'Sullivan's an immensely strong athlete and she might need that strength as she rounds into the home straight. And she starts now to pull away from Yvonne Murray, who's feeling it. Now it's the clock that's O'Sullivan's enemy. She's got the race one. Can she get inside? 528.69. She's going to surely. And by some margin in the end, yes, it's a new world record for Sonia O'Sullivan. A brilliant run by the Irish girl and tears of joy almost from her. She has smashed Quika's eight-year-old record for the 2,000 metres. It may be a tremendous race, this steeplechase. The lead has changed hands several times. A couple of Kenyans in there amongst the leaders, Colin Walker, and great to see back on the track, Mark Rowland as well, the former Olympic bronze medalist, making his return after so many injury problems in recent years and running a really good race here.